Hey guys, uh, Tony here with AwesomeKarateDrills.com. I uh, just wanted to give everybody a quick heads up. Uh, anybody that's not a member of the site, uh, I put together a free, like kind of like a mini website so you guys can go on and get some cool drills. Uh, we've got some arts and crafts. We've even got uh, like a whole uh, miniature demo, like a short demo, a musical demo that you can, that you can do with your students. Uh, the link's right below. If you just click that, uh, it takes you right to the site. So you don't have to sign up for anything. You don't have to give me any of your information. Um, there's probably about 24 really cool drills. Uh, we've got some arts and crafts in there if you're running like a camp of some sort. Uh, you can do some, some pretty cool things with that. Um, there's some contributors. There's, a, like I said, the demo. Um, so I just wanted to give you guys like a real quick uh, tour of, of my school so you can kind of see who I am and you know what I do. Uh, I have uh, two schools. I'm here in South Jersey, um, East Coast. This school here, this is about uh, 6,000 square feet. I'm just going to kind of pan around with the camera so you guys can check it out. Uh, here's our office. Uh, you know, we keep it small. Uh, really, when I, when I built this, I wasn't even going to put an office in here. I was going to make it like our snack store. But uh, it actually made for a great view right down so you can see everything that's going on in the lobby. And they can also keep an eye on all of our kids in the after school program. So we run an after school program. We don't mess with transportation, you know, none of that. Uh, we've got all that taken care of. We've been doing it since 2007. So this is where our after school girl, she sits here. She runs that program, teaches those classes. She actually, it's funny because she doesn't even really have any martial arts experience, but she uses the main site. She uses the daily planner. Um, she teaches the little, so it's more of a gross motor skill. So, um, you know, she can go on there and she was a little nervous when I hired her. She didn't really know, you know, what to do, but you know, using that, she's been able to teach classes like she's been doing it forever. Uh, we got some game systems back here. We got an Xbox. We got the Wii. We got PlayStation. We got a bunch of chairs. Kids come in here and they put their uniforms or bags, shoes in the cubbies. Then we got tables all marked with their names so they know where to sit. Because sometimes you got to separate the kids that just, for whatever reason, don't, don't want to listen and get loud. So, you know, we try to you know, put kids together that are going to be, you know, disciplined and quiet. I uh, got a big screen TV in here. We put the DVD player behind it so you can't see. I'm a big stickler on not seeing wires. I hate seeing wires. So we put movies on, things like that when they come in. Now, when somebody comes into the school, I like to try to hit them on all the senses. So as soon as I come in, the first thing I do, I go right over here into the corner and I plug in that little warmer. And I change it up depending on, you know, what the season is. Like here I got banana bread pudding. I know it's crazy, but when people come in, they're like, oh man, that smells great in here. It's just, you know, one other way to, you know, hit them up with their, you know, hit them on all senses. Uh, our lobby, this is our lobby area. Uh, we like to make it, you know, real comfy, you know, get that homely feel. So we put couches and everything in here. We've got, you know, a nice floor. We have carpets. Uh, we do have some chairs and we got our, our board here, what's going on in October, November. Uh, this is all hardwood. We've got four couches over here. We just got rid of all the chairs. You know, I think that this is a little bit more personable and, you know, comfortable for the parents to come in. We always have a lot of parents that come in and sit. Uh, we're doing pictures this month. We got another big screen TV here. Kids put their shoes there, come and grab their cars. We do it old school style. Yeah, we still have a card system, but... Um, you know, that's how we like to do it. Got our parents night out sign up sheet here, uh, 18 kids so far, and that's not until the 23rd. So we'll have probably 40 or 50 in the after school program or in the uh, ha Halloween parents night out is actually what that is. We do a big haunted house. This is our main floor. This is where we do the majority of our classes. We got the, uh, the jigsaw puzzle mats, changed up the colors. You know, we went with that blue and red forever, but we changed it to like a sea green. Uh, I think it makes for a, a nice little combination. Uh, right over here on the wall, it's funny because I took my son, we went to um, uh, Disney a couple years ago, and I don't even remember what ride we were on, but we were going through and it had like um, The Wizard of Oz and you know a few other you know scenes. So I came back and I, I asked my partner who's like a really good handy guy, you know, if he could build me a, a base here and a house coming off the wall, because I wanted to do like, bamboo in the background and mountains and he probably thinks I'm crazy but he's good at that kind of stuff so he built me like a little protruding house here and I filled it with rocks and a little bench and 
we got stones and this is actually, uh, it's funny because he actually works for me now. He started with me when he was four years old and his neighbor uh, made a, a, uh, a big stone. This thing probably weighs like 300 pounds or something like that. He's, I think he's a little embarrassed about it, but uh, we got our stereos back in the back. We got a portable one here that we can move around. Uh, bathroom, storage areas are in the back. And right over here, we've got our, uh, this is mostly for our rolling, like when we do our jujitsu classes. This has got the foam mats underneath. Uh, you probably see this room in a lot of the videos. Uh, another big screen TV. You know, we put art on all of the walls here just to kind of give it that, that little touch. Uh, most of these I did, you know, this is, I love to paint. I'm into anything art. So, you know, I did that one, this one right here, uh, these down here on the end. In here, love anything art. I guess that's why I'm a martial artist, right? Back here in the back, got an office, bathroom, ah, whiteboard. Uh, this is some of the stuff that we got going on on the new site. Um, we're doing, uh, it's, it's actually pretty cool. Um, we're teaming up with a couple people that are you know, in the business, in the industry. And um, we're doing kind of like a, like a parent portal type thing where the kids can go on and unlock videos where they can train at home, uh, which is pretty cool. So they have some, incentive to do certain things in order to get the codes to unlock the videos. Uh, pretty cool concept, uh, teaming up with some people in our industry uh, that's gonna make that happen. Uh, we're also doing, you know, if, if you've been on the site before, we have a daily planner where you can, you know, basically have a class plan for every single day of the year. Uh, it's kind of informal, um, but it gives you a, a, a good timing frame to kind of relate to as you're going through uh, and teaching a class. All of my, my instructors use it. Uh, I've got 16, 17 year old kids, you know, running the school. If I want to be here, I can. If I don't, they do a great job. Uh, they just follow the plan. They put a little bit of their own mix into it, their own personality, and have some fun with it. Jess, she doesn't even have any experience and she uses it for the littles because it's gross motor, but um, she does a great job with that. But we're doing a uh, rotating curriculum structure for both beginner, intermediate, uh, and advanced groups, plus like Black Belt Club leadership. Uh, so if you don't know what a rotating curriculum is, um, it's a little bit different than, you know, your traditional, like what most of us probably came up with going through, you know, each level, each belt having a specific curriculum, but it works really well, especially if you're like a single man operation or a single woman operation running a school, you know, it, it makes it super easy. But um, uh, that's gonna be, you know, within the next couple months or so, we should have that done. It's just about done. We're doing a big sparring section on the site, uh, a bunch of different sparring drills and kicking drills. Uh, we've got some more, you know, contributors coming on. But, you know, in the meantime, you know, if you wanna be, uh, you know, a, a member of the site, you know, that's cool. You can always, you know, click the link and, and go to that site, awesomecardiodrills.com. But uh, maybe you just want some, some drills. I put them together for free on there so you guys can uh, you know go on and just take them there's you know probably 24 25 drills there's some arts and crafts there's a 